हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय केमिस्ट्री चैनल बी एल दास शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट इन केमिस्ट्री नाउ दिस इज अनोन बेस रेडिकल सेवन एनालिसिस हियर अनोन बेस रेडिकल इज गिवन एंड दिस इज पार्ट थर्टीन वेर वी विल डू फिजिकल टेस्ट ड्राई टेस्ट एंड वेट टेस्ट वन बाय वन सो दैट वी कैन नो वट इज दी गिवेन बेस रेडिकल इज फर्स्ट वी विल डू फिजिकल टेस्ट कलर दैट इज वाइट the salt is given whose color is white and structure is crystalline and solubility that is soluble in water the first observation that is our uh, color structure and solubility from color one can guess what type of salt may be it is not any color salt yes uh, it is soluble in water then after that we will proceed to dry test dry test for basic radical that having so many soft test first is dry test tube heating in dry test tube heating small salt is taken in a test tube and heated strongly and when heated strongly if you will get uh, uh, ammonia smell then it may be ammonium but since no ammonia smell then ammonium is absent but on other it is found white residue is formed Why residue is formed? Maybe Ba plus two, Ca plus two, Sr plus two. Maybe after dry test to heating, we will go to soda lime test. Soda lime test mean what? I told also you will take salt and add sodium hydroxide, then heat it strongly, and here no ammonia smell. That mean ammonium plus absent. After soda lime test, soda lime test is very very important for ammonium salt, and since ammonium salt is absent, then proceed to charcoal cavity test. In charcoal cavity, you make one cavity on charcoal, and next you mix the sodium carbonate with salt and heat it strongly by the help of over the flame in by the help of oxidizing flame, and white residue is formed. what in the cavity lastly we find white acid residue that mean zn plus 2 pb plus 2 mn plus 2 they are absent and what may be maybe ca plus 2 ba plus 2 and sr plus 2 out of one may be then after that charcoal cavity test we will proceed to cobalt nitrous test in cobalt nitrate state here there is no identified color of thing that mean one drop of to the white residue one drop of cobalt nitrate is added and heated in oxidizing flame but no identified color is formed that is confusing one so these zn plus 2 mg plus 2 al plus 3 these are absent After that, we will proceed to flame test. What is flame test? Platinum wire is dipped in concentrated HCl to clean, heat it strongly. Then after that, the, the, that uh, platinum wire dipped in concentrated HCl, then salt and shown to the flame. Then brick red color is formed. Brick red, brick red flame that is indicating uh, uh, it is uh, not uh, barium. It should be uh, calcium. Barium light green color. and here it may be calcium so brick red means it may be ca plus 2 after flame test we will proceed to borax bit test but we know borax bit test only for colored salt a the uh, salt is not colored the given salt is not colored that is why borax bit test is not necessary then here the dry test is completed dry test tube heating soda lime test charcoal cavity cobalt nitrate flame test then come to borax bit test after dry test we will proceed to uh, wet test then what is the general procedure in general procedure we should know what is the group so how many groups are there including zero group there are six groups also there and zero group first second third four fifth six so here first we will proceed to zero group what is the zero group reagent that is added naoh that mean 
salt solution because it is a wettest so you should take salt solution in salt solution added NaOH then here no ammonia smell so ammonium group absent that means zero group absent if zero group absent then we proceed to group one what is the group reagent here dilute SCL salt solution you will add dilute SCL no white precipitate that means group one absent group one absent mean PB plus two AG plus one absent are you clear to the salt solution dilute SCL is added then here what happened no white precipitate so group one absent salt solution next we will go to group two to the salt solution added dilute SCL already added then pass H2S gas when pass H2S gas no color precipitate you find no color precipitate that means group 2 also absent group 2 absent means what are the radical absent Cu plus 2 Pb plus 2 As plus 3 they are absent when second group absent then we will what to do we will proceed to third group third group mean third group mean you will take salt solution added ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide that is a saturated solution and here no precipitate is obtained no precipitate mean no ferric plus no L plus 3 group 3 is absent here first of group 0 group absent 0 then group 1 absent group 2 absent then come to group 3 absent if group 3 absent we will proceed to group 4 in group 4 what to do salt solution and ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide added then pass H2S gas after passing H2S gas no precipitate is formed no precipitate form mean fourth group absent fourth group absent mean what are the radical absent Zn plus 2 Mn plus 2 Ni plus 2 CO plus 2 absent if fourth group absent that mean we will go to fifth group then what is fifth group radicals BA plus 2, SR plus 2, CA plus 2 may be. Then what is the reagent? To this salt solution, added ammonium chloride solid, ammonium hydroxide, then added ammonium carbonate solution or sometimes also solid ammonium carbonate is added. And here white precipitate is formed. White precipitate is formed mean fifth group present. Fifth group present mean BA plus 2. SR plus 2, CA plus 2 may be. That means again I want to tell about uh, uh, group, general group test, wet test. First you will test for group 0, that is NaOH uh, to the solution and heater, no ammonia smell. First group, dilute SCL, no precipitate, no white precipitate. First group option, second group to that pass H2S gas, no precipitate obtained. Second group option, then third you will add ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide, no precipitate, then pass H2S gas through it, no precipitate. Up to fourth group, no one is there, no radical is present. Then come to fifth group where you will take ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide, and ammonium carbonate, white precipitate is formed. That is a positive test for which group? fifth group so in fifth group one by one you will do confirm test so if in mm, this fifth group first test ba plus 2 if absent then do test sr plus 2 remember it if absent do test for ca plus 2 so proceed confirm test for barium plus 2 here added ammonium carbonate is added hot acidic is added then it gives a clear solution then divide into three parts again listen dissolve the white precipitate in hot dilute acidic acid then ammonium carbonate is added clear solution which indicates it may be ba plus 2 sr plus 2 or ca plus 2 divide into three parts the solution to part one potassium chromate drop by drop added no yellow precipitate remember no yellow precipitate mean BA plus 2 option that mean you are given salt is not BA plus 2 basic radical second part added potassium sulfur solution in pot when potassium sulfur solution is added no white precipitate again that mean here also 
SR plus 2 absent. Remember for Ba plus 2 potassium chromate and SR plus 2 potassium sulfate. Ba plus 2 and SR plus 2 absent in given in the given salt then which may be present Ca plus 2 may be present. To the third part added ammonium oxalate uh, solution and here ammonium hydroxide also added and added with scratching the wall of the or to the side of the test tube then here white precipitate is formed. White precipitate form mean Ca plus 2 confirm that mean when ammonium hydroxide and ammonium oxalate is added Ca plus 2 confirm. Then you can do also flame test. So white precipitate taken that uh, dipped in platinum wire and concentration shown to the flame then what happened here brick red color is formed. Remember brick red mean Ca plus 2. Brick red is color form so Ca plus 2 confirm. And I hope it is clear and so lastly write uh, so uh, my given salt or my salt what you want write. So given basic radical is what is that one basic radical is Ca plus 2 and here concluded that given salt is given basic radical is Ca plus 2. So first of all physical test you will do then you will do dry test then you will do wet test in wet test there are two types one is our general procedure another is confirmed test which group is present first you will prove and after that which cation is present you will do one by one confirmed test i hope if the calcium plus 2 ca plus 2 basic radical is given then this is the procedure this is the writing style you have to follow uh, i hope uh, you understand all the all the steps of basic radical ca plus 2 Thanks everybody for watching my video. Myself B L Das, ex PGT Chemistry, Kendra Vidyalaya, Sangathan.